Keep your energy right. What's up, what's up, guys? You already know we are continuing this from TikTok, and I'm not really liking the vibe, so we're gonna just kind of hop straight into it. You already know we give all the glory to the big guy upstairs. We're highly favored and protected, and we're not gonna get gaudy today. All right, we're very grateful. We're filled with gratitude, but right now we need to get the business, okay? So, apparently, there's a King of Swords fellow. All right, this King of Swords fellow. I actually would like to be a king of pentacles towards a particular queen of wands. Queen of wands is collective. All right, queen of wands, keep doing your thing. All right, looks like you're being guided directly towards a four of wands. All right, is this a union or a reunion? Joe, no say. All right. Okay, anywho, back to the business. King of pentacles, king of swords, fellow, whichever you like. I'm going to talk to him as king of swords. King of swords. King of swords is doing deep introspective work within his own life and his own self right right he's figuring things out all right he's seeing the truth and clarity and recognizing that you were actually a pretty good fit for him unfortunately we did notice that there may have been some third party activities where he was lying cheating being a bit of a scoundrel and honestly that was a rather painful ending and a close to a cycle but they would like to come around and possibly revisit that so that they can get over the hurdles all right and be victorious with collective hmm. so now that we're on the same page I'm just going to start off by saying accountability is usually the best bet. Now, we see her as a queen of wands, you feel me? But she probably wasn't a queen of wands back then. She was probably modest, dialed down just a little bit, minding her beeswax, committed, loyal to whatever situation she was in. Feels as if somebody may be frantic. And I say that because I've only had one cup of coffee and I didn't even finish it. So there's that. Anywho, now Homeo is seeing the truth and clarity of the matter. What's he want to move things forward? And he needs to have some sort of communication in order to do so. He would like to apologize. And honestly, I feel as if it's going to get messy. So I was like, yo, 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 this ain't the place for this. Let's bring this over to YouTube. Let's, let's, let's get to talking. Let's see what's really good. All right, so highly favored protected you know what's going on i know what's going on here we're probably going to need another deck let's get to it coffee's across the room crap let's go we got this all right okay we got the rundown let's go all right oh goodness who signed up for this oh five of pentacles okay all right now Five of Pentacles is a sense of poverty, a sense of lack, being left out in the cold. All right, now if this was an ancestral reading, this isn't good. All right, you're moving, move towards karma waters, and they're being out in spiritual poverty, which is a no bueno. So these are the five wands that we were talking about. All right, they want to get over the hurdles. They want to put the work in the blood, sweat, and tears. All right, they want to make that happen. They want to get themselves out of the cold. Hmm. Okay. All right, Ten of Pentacles very nice the strength card all right so i'm assuming that collective is being looked at as a ten of pentacles i don't know what that's about a money bag a money tree i don't know there's somebody who's very wealthy somebody who has their ish together somebody who is very much stable it has the material means to do what it do when she wants to do what it do but again because it's ten pentacles, there's really no gender in the energy. So I'm going to take it as a very much balanced in both your masculine and feminine. And you could get down either way, you feel me? So that's cool. You feel me? A little gaudy if you ask me. But it's cool. All right, let's keep moving. Somebody's nervous. As you can see, they're not seeing everything in this particular situation. So they're stuck. They're hemmed up. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, three of pentacles. Five of swords. Oh, isn't that always the story? Like, every time you walk away, somebody wants to come back around. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's always like that. So now they would like to cooperate and be on the same page, but you're like, yeah, bro, I'm out of here. I'm going for a Ten of Pentacles. All right, so you've completely let go of this energy, of the situation, whatever this may be. Maybe that was the contract. I don't know. But what I am saying is that choices have been made and somebody is grieving Ooh. not to mention that stuck on the table is the eight of swords so they're very much nervous and stuck choices have been made and it's looking like they were fighting the love this entire time 
But we've illuminated some stuff. No. All right, whatever. Whatever, your perspective is valid as well. Boom! So you walked away. Yes, you did illuminate some things. We walked up out of there. You feel me? All right, yes, it was a rather large emotional investment, which is why I said that about the Queen of Wands, the Saint of the Pentacles. Like, something just didn't feel right. You feel me? Like, I felt like we needed more cup energy. And here it is. You were left behind that emotional investment because it was a little bit too much. Faith without works is dead. So you know that the Most High has something better for you. Down the road, you just have to pick your head up and keep moving. So you did so. All right, and it looks like now you're being guided directly towards the four of wands, which is wonderful. But you're giving up on the cup life, and now you're going towards the pentacle life, something that's more stable, something that's more grounded, something that you can actually be materialized, something that's more of a commitment as opposed to an emotional investment. Emotions are very much important if you have somebody who's also emotionally intelligent and emotionally aware. All right, so without that combination, it's a very slippery slope gangster right let's keep going all right okay all right so this has been hidden all right very suppressed emotions very deep could it be the divine feminine yes feeling uh left out feeling as if they missed an opportunity feeling as if they made a foolish decision by allowing the situation to take place Ugh. can i get ace of souls on that one Okay, so she was a queen of pentacles. Very giving, nurturing, warm, and grounded. Deserving of a ten of pentacles, but she was settling for a ten of cups. Or an eight of cups. Sad thing is, five of those cups were probably hers. And the other energy was probably with the three cups, right? The three cups, community, family, friends, social gatherings, the fun stuff, community stuff, social gatherings and stuff. Well, now we have a king of cups. Oh, great. Okay, so we have a king of cups who's now gained his perspective and understands what he wants. Ooh, he's a cup man. She's a pentacle woman. She's looking for something more grounded and stable. I definitely see the world. Yeah. All right, so we have a spiritual gangster on the table. Okay, or maybe it's just a secret. Maybe there's things that, you know, people don't know about. Or maybe there is. All right, so let's balance these scales, all right? Let's, let's just balance these scales, all right? Let's go. So the King of Pentacles would like to show admiration, apologize, come forward in a genuine energy. Not only is he the King of Pentacles, he's also the King of Cups and the King of Swords. So he's understanding of his emotions. He's deeply consumed in his emotions, but he's also seeing the truth and clarity of his emotions, and he's also balanced in between his thoughts and his emotions, which is wonderful. You want to be tempered, you want to be calm, you want to be cool, all right? Okay, so the final decision for this guy is to come in, and instead of coming forward with just a little bit of admiration, some nice words, it looks like he's also going to, I'm not going to say jump the gun, but come forward with the Knight of Cups energy, okay? We need to see some pentacles, baby. We want the pentacles. But, okay, we see you. Always taking actions towards the Queen of Cups. So she still has his heart, though she's walked away and left the building. But that's left this masculine energy to do the work, and it looks like he had to start from the ground up. He may have been blocking and refusing to give up on his karmic um, attributes, his karmic side, his dark side. Maybe he didn't want to do the work, but losing her and refusing to do so actually forced her to turn her back to the situation. Anywho, he's now ready to take action towards his Queen of Cups, the woman who's captured his heart. All right, it's lots of anxiety, but it's actually in the challenge position as I'm picking it up. So I don't know if this energy should be in his head because the Queen of Cups is very caring, loving, compassionate. Wow, this woman is a powerhouse. Mm. And she still didn't come out as a queen of swords. This woman is an awesome woman. Anywho, boom. All right, so he's ready to come in. He's ready to balance the scales. He's ready to make things right with the one who owns the cup to his heart, basically. he Whatever, with her walking away from this particular energy, it looks as if that was where he was able to actually start doing the work. All right, we got the four to the Knight of Pentacles. That's five pentacles. The five pentacles here, which is ten pentacles. Is that the same ten pentacles that's here? 
Let's see what's up with that. Let's see what's up with that. You know what? We are going to see what's up with that. Let's just... He now knows how to be victorious. He knows where he's going to be victorious. He knows when he's going to be winning and how he's going to be winning. That was the Ten of Swords I just seen. Ten of Swords. But we did see the Ten of Swords. So, yeah, that does make sense right there. We see the Seven and the Three. Okay, let's keep going. See the moon. Yeah, it makes about right. The whole deck's on the table. I can stop saying that now, right? One more. One more. Let's go. All right, bottom of the deck we've got a new beginning, Nace of Cups, the cup that overfloweth of the hand of the Most High. All right, there's no dove, there's no dove. Anywho, what is this? Five pentacles, five pentacles, what is that? Are these 10 pentacles? What, what is that? Are, what is that? I'm having a family, it was, what is that? The Hierophant. Okay, coming forward and asking for forgiveness. So the Ten of Pentacles is actually, um, what's her name? The Queen of Wands. She's now saying things differently about the ending of that situation. Ooh, so you're being represented as a Ten of Pentacles and a ten of swords Ooh, painful 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 but they are serious about coming forward and reconciling and bringing peace to the situation which is nice i don't like the page energy but everybody has to start somewhere it's looking like now they're starting to see how combative they were how much tension outsiders in the situation and now they just want to move work together with you to move forward the feminine energy, energy and the masculine energy okay have you guys on the same page all right a rebirth of this relationship okay is there anything else before we wrap this one up we're gonna keep it cute he's ready to fight for this and it's looked like he's pretty much done healing he's just nervous and stuck in his head about moving things forward and giving to this feminine energy but he's a wounded warrior ready to step up and fight for this very much stuck in his head he has to get out of that mental imprisonment but honestly, he's got it. Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. So he's taking his time and he's holding back right now. He's honestly not really sure when will it when it will be a good time for him to step forward and take this leap of faith. But he's definitely pondering on it, and he doesn't want this to be a missed opportunity with the Queen of Cups. He wants to be victorious. He wants to celebrate with this particular. Queen of Emotions. <laughs> He's passionate about this. Alright, so we've illuminated everything that's going on for this particular Queen of Wands. Okay, I like it. I like it. So there's, what's this, Page of Pentacles. So maybe sending a message. Alright, choices need to be made. So make up your mind in what you want so you're not like dumbfounded. You're like, oh my god, I didn't expect this. No, you did expect this. We've seen this on TikTok and YouTube. There's no excuses on why we don't know what we want in the situation. All right, we're manifesting powerhouses, machines. You feel me? All day we're manifesting. Even when we're sleeping, even when we're showering, we're manifesting constantly. So heads up, all right? Heads up. Let's go have some coffee. It's cool. All right, we'll talk about it. And um, I love you unconditionally. Stay up, my friend. Let's go.